Hello everyone, the Bearded Thumb here, and I am back for another beer review. If that little intro doesn't get you ready to watch some beer drinking, then I don't know what will. If you haven't figured out already, by the music and the bottles, this theme is going to be beers from Poland. With a few things I'm going to be changing up, rather than use the small glasses I have in the past, I got one big ass glass that I will wash after every beer and that is the only thing that's going to be changing for this video so without further ado let's drink some beer first up we have tisky and i will apologize in advance for the butchering of any of the names of these beers uh i grew up in a polish neighborhood two of my best friends are polish but yeah the language escapes me i know some but not a lot uh the I'll just call them an advisor for this particular review. Did say that this is probably the most Americanized of all the Polish beers. They didn't really elaborate on what that meant. So, you know how this goes. We open it up, we pour it, we smell it, we drink it. Let's get this started. Alrighty then, that is uh, really nice to actually be able to see the color of the beers, not through a uh, shady cup like I had been using for the last couple of reviews, or almost all the reviews so far. And uh, it's got a nice rich color to it. Uh, take a sniff here. Definitely has a, like a lager smell to it, which um, I cannot tell you any information off this bottle. Uh, other than product of Poland. And, uh, you know, let's give this a nice little taste. That was actually not bad. Uh, very smooth. Definitely has a lager taste to it. Reminds me uh, a lot of my favorite moose head. Um, pretty smooth from start to finish. Uh, it's about all I can really say about it. I mean, nothing too spectacular, pretty basic. Um, if that's what they meant by Americanized, I definitely see what they meant. So, that's where I'll leave this off. Really good, but don't have much else to compare it to yet since I did kick the review off with this. So, next beer. All right, next up in this review, we have Okachim, Okasim, Oka something. Uh, the bottle itself goes ahead and sets the bar pretty low for us. It even says on there, OK beer. So with that said, I have already, at the suggestion of the beer itself, set that bar nice and low. Let's open this up. I'm sure the uh, microphone caught that. Sorry about that. I get a little gassy when you drink some beer. And Okay, uh, definitely, first thing I notice is this is definitely darker than the Tiski. Uh, it does say on there, this one, it does say premium export lager. That This one actually has more English on it than the Tiski did, which is nice. I could actually give you guys that information. And... Uh, I'm assuming the giant ass 1845 is how long it's been around for. So, sniff it here. Definitely a lager smell to it. Very similar to the Tisky, a little more bold smelling. So, uh, next we taste. Wow, really good. Um, well, I actually really like that a lot. Uh, very, very, very smooth from start to finish. Uh, that was actually really enjoyable. Uh, smooth is the only real word I could use to describe it. Uh, 
damn, that was I was really impressed with it. I know all joking aside about the okay beer being right there on the bottle, but damn, I'm gonna actually uh, go ahead and finish this off. Oh yeah, that was good. Yeah, so uh, that is definitely really, really good. I definitely enjoyed that a lot. Um, so with the two beers reviewed so far, this is definitely the front runner. But hey, we still got, what is it, five more to go? Yeah, so this review is far from over. But so far, I have been very pleased. Next beer. Okay, next up we have, holy shit, look at that name there. Just kidding, I know how to pronounce this one. This one is Jivietz. Uh, this is a staple beer at one of the bars me and my friends frequent that is owned by a uh, Polish owner, and I have a lot of familiarity with this beer. It's probably the one I have had the most when it does come to drinking Polish beer, which I don't drink Polish beer a lot. I will be fully honest about that. Uh, it's not exactly easy to find around me. Luckily, I was able to get all these bombers from a uh, grocery store that specializes and a lot of imported goods from Mexico and Poland because the neighborhoods in this area are primarily uh, Hispanic and Polish. So, enough yammering on. I, I actually opened this bottle just before uh, starting this thing where I, uh, while I was doing the setup, I just kind of got ahead of myself. So, go ahead and pour it here. Alright, so far that color has been pretty consistent. Uh, just by eyeballing it and not having the side-by-sides to look at, I still think the uh, Okachim, or whatever it is, however the hell you pronounce it, has been the darkest. But this one's pretty, uh, got a nice rich color to it. Go ahead and uh, smell it there. Very light smelling compared to the other two. Um, it definitely has that, you know, lager smell to it. Once again, uh, this is back to... Uh, Minimal English uh, on the bottle. Oh, brewed using three ingredients. I understand that. And brewed using... Oh, wait, no, there's more English than I thought. Brewed using pure mountain water. So, uh, let's go ahead and taste it. Mm. Oh, yeah, compared to the other two, uh, this one definitely has a very unpleasant aftertaste. Uh, it's good, but after coming off the last two beers, ugh, I don't know what to really say. Uh, I like it. Overall, I like it. I would definitely drink this, but yeah, that aftertaste just kind of mule kicked me. I uh, was not expecting that. Uh, but like I said, I've never, when I have drank this before, I haven't had anything else to uh, compare to side by side, so maybe I just didn't notice it before, or if uh, we had pre-gamed before going to the bar, I was just kind of uh, too pre-gamed to notice. Overall good, but definitely so far, uh, solidly in the bottom. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do something uh, during setup here to get this taste out of my mouth. That is really awkward. Uh, all right, uh, next beer. All right, next up we have Lecker, Lecher. I have no clue how to fucking pronounce that. Uh, honestly, up until I was told to go to that particular store to look for these beers, I seriously thought the only Polish beers that existed domestically were the previous three, because they are the only ones I've ever seen, ever. And this is considering that my best friend is Polish, and I have... Seeing a lot of uh, Polish beer in this fridge, and it's always been uh, Tiski, Zivyet, or Okachim. And, uh, hey, I mean, hey, they have good taste buds, I mean, because all those beers are pretty good. Uh, obviously, with the exception of the Zivyet's aftertaste, but I, I want to stress, I did, it was not bad as a whole. I would drink it if it was there, but that Zivyet's, I mean, that aftertaste, comparatively speaking, was just rough. So, uh, let's focus on the Lek, or Lek... Or, I don't know. Let's just fucking open it and see what it has to offer. I don't know what I'm doing differently this time, but my camera is a lot more in the way than the last couple videos. Son of a bitch. Alright. Alright. 
All right, so far the color has been extremely consistent. This is definitely going back to be on the lighter side. I'm strictly eyeballing these because um, I may or may not be polishing off each beer after I have uh, opened it so far, so I have nothing readily available to compare in color. Uh, but yeah, just thinking of how the other ones were, this one looks on the lighter side. Give it the old smell test there. Smells on the lighter side too, but they've all had that very similar lager smell to them so far. Uh, let's see here. Does this say where this is or what type this is? Water, barley, wheat, hops, premium, brewed from... Uh, yeah, so... Doesn't say what type it is. Uh, I'm gonna assume with the smell and the looks that it's a lager, so... Here, uh, let's take a sip. Very smooth. Wow, I like that a lot. Um, I was originally going to make a joke about this with being like Bex because the bottle and the font look so similar to Bex. I accidentally almost grabbed one when trying to reach for this because they actually had the merchandise right next to each other at the store. But, oh, this is so much better than Bex. I've had Bex before. Um, I have German heritage. When I first started drinking beer, one of the first 12 packs I bought was a Bex and that disappointed the hell out of me. Um, but damn, that's good. I'm actually going to finish this off. That is really enjoyable. I'd say this one is very similar to the Okachim. A lot of similarities there. But once again, if anyone wants to phonetically correct the pronunciation of the beer's that I am saying in the comment section, please do. I am not intentionally trying to butcher these names. I just honestly don't know how to pronounce them. So overall, really like this one. It's definitely top two right now, right next to the Okachim. And uh, with that said, next beer. Next up, we have what would appear to be Perla, but I am sure that is not how you pronounce it. Uh, so far, I like how all the colors of these beers have been very consistent in terms of the labeling. The first three were all a combination of white and red, and now we are into green and red. Oh, goddamn, sorry, excuse me. I was positive the mic picked up on that one. And that one. But, uh, yeah. It looks like it's pronounced Perla, but I am almost positive <laughs> that is not right. Uh, let's open up and see what it has to offer. I'm actually really looking forward to trying all these ones from here on out because I literally just found out they existed. And as I am view, uh, filming this, it is actually National Beer Day. So I hope everyone out there went ahead and celebrated because I obviously sure as hell I am. So let's see what this has to offer. God damn, with all these bottle caps I'm getting, I'm, I'm going to be the fucking Warren Buffett of the apocalypse. Once again, if anyone gets that reference, you are a gamer and I like you. Unless you're going to talk shit in the comments, then you can go fuck yourself. Very consistent color so far. All uh, nice, solid amber color. And I am going to go ahead and compliment in saying that word amber. Unlike how uh, with my budget beer review, I... Kind of went ahead and said that was an insult to call any of those amber in color, but so far I have been very impressed with this review. Uh, take a little sniff test here. All right, definitely the most potent smelling so far. Uh, how much English is on this bottle, if any? Um, all right, I'm going to assume that pills means Pilsner beer. Uh, I think that's pretty universal languaging. So this is a Pilsner, not a lager. Um, Pilsner's, fun fact, are actually one of my favorite beers. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to trying this now. So, uh, Nostrovia, or however the hell you say cheers in Polish. At least that's what I say when I'm at a Polish wedding. Incredibly smooth. Wow. Uh, I think we have a new front runner. That is incredibly smooth from start to finish. Let me take one more sip of that here. Uh, 
Oh yeah, that is some good shit right there. That is definitely one of the best Pilsners I have ever had. Uh, prior to this, I used to say the best Pilsner I ever had was Pilsner Yaquel, which once again, I'm sure I'm butchering the shit out of that name. Uh, but yeah, I mean, same region, I believe, uh, Pilsner Yaquel, if my uh, memory off the top of my head is serving me correctly, is uh, Czech beer. Uh, during setup for the next beer, I'm going to double check that on Google and make sure I'm not throwing out false information. But yeah, I'm going to finish this off because of how damn good this is. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. <sighs> this is a real fun video series I have picked up. I mean, working in retail, like I've mentioned numerous times in prior videos, gives you a thirst for alcohol. And, uh, yeah, what's the ABV in this thing? Let's see if I get it right up there. Um, 8 or 6? Oh, it's 6%. I was going to say, if that would have been 8, I would have been really shocked at how fucking smooth that was. But no, it's 6% ABV. Uh, yeah, I would definitely not hesitate to ever buy another bomber of these. Which, another thing I'm going to throw in there, goddamn, was I happy that all these came in bottle bombers and no fucking canned tall boys. Because, I'm sorry, beer out of a can is a goddamn sin. I mean, I know I've been told from... Uh, Friends and coworkers of mine that with the IPAs, which come in cans that are supposedly lined. I mean, there's no saving a fucking IPA. I mean, IPAs are shit. But damn, that is good. All right, next beer. Next up, we have the oh, wow. This is a uh, Zagloba. Z yeah, I'm. I'm gonna completely pronounce these phonetically, as the way I see them. Please, anyone, feel free to. Correct me in the comment section, and I truly do apologize if I am butchering the hell's out, hell out of these. I do not mean to. I just, like I said, I do not speak the language. But, uh, yeah, uh, with how good this review's been going, let's open this up and pour. I really am looking forward to this. I'm not looking forward to how fucking in the way the camera seems to be. Holy shit, does that look dark. Wow. Alright, I think we definitely have a winner for darkest beer so far. Uh, traditional Polish recipe and... Boop! Sorry, gotta pop that bubble. Oh wait, you probably couldn't see it. There's a big-ass bubble forming out of the top of the bottle. Uh, holy shit, I mean, that is dark as fuck. Um, what's the ABV on this here? Uh, 6%, same as the last one. Um, the type of beer is not immediately visible. Uh, yeah. Uh, sniff test. Oh boy, that's a interesting smell to it. Uh, I'm not gonna sit there and say it smells like an IPA, because I'm almost positive it's not an IPA, but... That's a smell I've smelled many a times at my work when we uh, sample new beers for product knowledge, and that smell is not making me look forward to this. Uh, all right, I got to do it. I got to test it with the taste. Ah, oh, God. Oh, that is unpleasant. That's the... Ugh. <coughs> oh, wow. That... Okay, we have a new... Uh, we have a new bottom feeder. Very solidly. That was... Uh, ooh. Alright, I don't know why I'm about to torture myself. Alright, maybe... It's not like when I almost died drinking Bud Ice in my first review, or the Budget Beer Review, for anyone who doesn't know which one was the first one. <sighs> I'm going to try and take another sip, but... Oh, God, that was awful. Oh, why am I doing this to myself? Nope. Still sucks. Oh. Oh, God. Ugh. Actually, I have a bucket off to the side of the camera here. I'm just going to... 
pour this out because, yeah, that is not happening. Whew, okay, so very unpleasant for my personal tastes, uh, heavy, bitter, uh, bad. All right, uh, we got one beer left. Uh, let's hurry up and get to that because I want to get this beer behind me as soon as possible. Next up, we have Zuber. Zuber. Uh, we have a word that has three consonants to one vowel, so I'm sorry, I can't make heads or tails of that shit. Um, yeah, uh, I like the art on it. Uh, I grabbed this one last because I uh, saw the buffalo on it, and I'm a big uh, into Vegas. I like gambling, and one of my favorite slot machines is Buffalo. I know that it has nothing to do with this review, but I saw that, and that's why I grabbed it. So, oh boy, uh, is this pictures of hops at the bottom of the bottle here? If it is, if it's also one thing I've learned from uh, testing IPAs, anything that has a hop on the bottle usually is going to be fucking awful. And after our last beer, uh, I mean, I want to say it can only go up from here, but fuck it, let's find out. Fucking camera. I definitely did something different this time. There we go. Uh, same dark color like the last beer, so this is, uh, it seems to be lightening up a little bit. <sighs> well, let's do the uh, smell test. This one does say on there that it is a lager. Uh, so that wants to make me feel a little better since I know what I'm going to be drinking. Uh, smell was not bad. Let me just double check that there. Yeah, uh, the smell has me a little happier again. Unlike the last beer where I was dreading drinking it from the smell. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and correct myself there. That is definitely lightened up after the initial pour. Uh, I can actually kind of see through the bottle. So, let's get this over with and taste it. Definitely not as bad as uh, Zagloba. But, uh, yeah... Still not in the top. That's what I'll say. That's pretty much all I can really say about this. It's not good, not bad. It's drinkable. If by any chance in hell, wherever I was at, the host had this there, I would definitely not hesitate to drink it after this review of it. But that's all I can really say about it. It's drinkable. And uh, yeah, well, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and crown us a champ. No, you are not imagining things. This wasn't a very poorly edited video. Uh, I did not realize that right as I was about to reveal the winning beers that um, my camera had stopped recording. The particular uh, tripod, or it's kind of a thing that hangs off of the desk that holds my phone, kind of blocks the uh, button that shows if it's recording or not. And uh, I learned something today. Uh, once my phone hits to uh, 45 minutes on a video, it automatically cuts itself off for some reason. Why, I don't know. Uh, or maybe it's just complete coincidence that at exactly 45 minutes it had stopped recording. I will have to check my settings. But yeah, my winners are either Perler or Okachim. I mean, taste-wise, holy shit, Perla really won big time. But I mean... It, I shouldn't say big time. It was definitely very close. I liked both a lot. I definitely wouldn't hesitate to buy these. And I'm probably actually going to start buying them more often now. Like, if I go somewhere and I see a fucking bomber of these things, I'm buying that shit. Uh, Okachim, I mean, I know I was so ready to make so many jokes about the it saying OK, which I'm sure is uh, an abbreviation for something using uh, American punctuation with the... Uh, 
periods after the O and the K, that usually means it's an abbreviation for something. What, I don't know, or nor do I really care. Um, they were only made uh, a year apart from each other, but goddamn were they good, and um, just because I, I can't help myself, um, I like how the with the Okachim, the uh, little thing there almost kind of looks like the uh, goat is uh, humping a glass of beer that uh, kind of appeals to my uh, in a immature side. But that is going to bring us to the end of this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really would help out the channel. Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook. Link to the Facebook page will be in the description down below. And if you did not like this video, however, and feel no one should ever be subjected to watching this crap ever again, thumbs down, negative comments, and until next time, this has been the Bearded Dumb. Have a good one.